My name is Jeff Bullock with Elevation Tax. Today I'm going to tackle one of the common questions we get from clients about the residential energy credit, and in particular, the credit about solar panels. So if you're like many people, you've probably had a door-to-door -door salesman or maybe a friend or family member tell you that you need to get solar panels, um, you know, make your home efficient, and you get an awesome tax credit for it. Uh, while it's true that they'll make your home more, more energy efficient and a lower electrical bill, um, there is also a great tax credit for it, but that, that tax credit isn't always applied the same across the board. So today I wanted to kind of go through the, the pros and cons or, or some of the, the, the ins and outs of this credit, how it works and how it might apply to you. So the first thing about this credit is the actual credit that you can receive is equal to 30% of the cost of the actual solar panels. And that cost actually includes both, both the cost as well as labor to install those solar panels. The other benefit about this credit is there's actually no maximum to the credit. So let's say you installed solar panels, you got a big home and it was $100,000 was the cost. You could actually take a $30,000 credit on your tax return for that installation or those, those solar panels. Um, so let, let's go through an example that will kind of shed a light on, on the differences and how it might apply to your individual situation. So in, in this example, we'll say that you spend $30,000 on some solar panels and the installation. And if that was the case, your, your maximum tax credit that you could take would be $9,000. That's 30% of $30,000. So this first example, let's assume that your pre-credit tax liability, so your tax liability before we take into account the, the credit for the solar panels is $15,000. Well, because we have this $9,000 credit, we can actually apply that against our tax liability which then reduces our final tax liability to $6,000. So in this, in this first example, we were able to utilize the full $9,000 against our tax liability. Now let's look at a second example. In this example, let's say that your pre-credit tax liability is only $4,000. So it's actually less than the maximum credit you can take. Well, in this case, we can still apply up to $4,000 of this credit which leaves our, our final tax liability at $0. However, we have an unused credit here of $5,000. This credit, you know, you can, in this case, you're still taking that $4,000 and reducing your liability to zero, but that unused credit, it can't roll forward to the next year and it simply just goes away. So in this case, you truly didn't receive a 30% tax credit for the cost of that installation. So what I'd recommend if you're ever in a situation like this or, or trying to determine, should I get solar panels? Is it worth it for me? Talk to your tax advisor. Let them look at your situation. Let them look at your tax uh, liability. And in most cases, they're going to need to project out and see in that current year what your, your tax liability is going to be. And that way, they'll be able to tell you, you know, in your case, you, can, you would be able to use up to $3,000 of a credit. So a system that costs X amount of dollars. Um, another thing about this credit is sometimes states also have incentives to uh, have more energy efficient items on your home. I know here in the state of Utah, for a, a solar, uh, solar panels on your roof, you can get another, an additional credit uh, of about $2,500. That's the maximum. There are some, some other ins and outs that go with that, but there are other states uh, across the country that have additional credits. So definitely consult with your advisor. Uh, feel free to give us a call. We can, uh, we can look at your state, look at your situation and let you know how uh, installing solar panels would, would affect your current tax situation. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we do weekly updates. Uh, subscribe to our newsletter or feel free to schedule a free consultation. 